The world seems to believe in the term bigger is better more seriously now. With the shrinking economy, one would accept a tight grip on the modern architectural exploration. Welcome back to our channel, Rosie with you, and Atza from Couples Wonderlust. From the world's tallest skyscraper to the largest ever Lego tower, scale the heights of engineering, record-breaking buildings, and structures, even in this economic downturn, buildings are stretching out to new height. Here, we have listed the biggest structure in the world. Burj Khalifa, United Arab Emirates The Burj Khalifa is a skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, with a total height of 829 meters and a roof height excluding antenna but including a 244 meter spire of 828 meter. The Burj Khalifa has been the tallest structure and building in the world since its topping out in 2009, supplanting Taipei 101, the previous holder of that status. Shanghai Tower, Shanghai, China Completed in 2014, Shanghai Tower has total height of 2,073, twisting to the sky with 128 floors that make the Shanghai Tower one of the tallest in the world. The design from Gensler embraces an inner glass facade and a twirling exterior while inside the tower features nine zones created by the tracking of interior components atop one another. The curve exterior not only provides a unique aesthetic as the third of the three skyscrapers in close proximity but also offers an engineering benefit by reducing wind loads with one of the world's highest observation decks open to the public in 2016 inside expect a mix of uses and plenty of singular views of the city Mecca Royal Clock Tower Hotel, Saudi Arabia The Mecca Royal Clock Tower Hotel was built to afford comfortable accommodations, wealthy Muslim pilgrims making the Hajj. The height of 1,972 feet tower was completed in 2012, a factor that contributed to the building reaching so high, its gigantic footprint a broader base support greater height. As we've all learned first-hand playing with blocks as kids, I think this building is getting by on sheer mass. Said Safarik, you can see the way that the other buildings around it have a stabilizing effect. Ping An Finance Center, Shenzhen, China The special economic zone of Shenzhen, China has really spurred on growth and that includes upward growth height of 1,965 feet was completed in 2017 the concrete and steel Ping An Finance Center intensely dense and connected into the center of the city it sits on the high-speed rail corridor the mix of hotel, office, and retail, the 115 floors designed by American firm Con Pedersen Fox Associates offers a modern approach to skyscrapers in China. Lotte World Tower, Seoul, South Korea The 123 floors of the Con Pedersen Fox Associated designed Lotte World Tower become the first 100-story buildings in Korea. It was completed in 2017 with the height of 1,819 feet. The steel building curves inward as it rises, and the glass used was meant to serve as reminder of Korean ceramic history. A mix of retail, office, hotel, residence, and even space fills the tower. Did you find our video interesting? Write your comments below if we are contributing an information. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to notify with our next video. 
One World Trade Center, New York, United States Completed in 2014, the spire of 1WTC attains a height of exactly 1,776 feet A shout out to the birth year of the United States The building proper is only around 1,300 feet tall but the city BUH chose to count spires toward the building's official height. That decision saw the new building controversially eclipse the Willis Tower in Chicago as the tallest building in America. Safarik said, spires have accordingly provoked controversy within city BUH itself. We continue to have this debate, he says. Taipei 101, Taipei, Taiwan Completed in 2004, Taipei 101 has the height of 1,667 feet, adopt some of the vernacular architecture of the region where it's built, Safarik says. Here you have a classic stacked pagoda look, which is a common thing throughout Asia. Furthermore, the building has 8 segments of 8 floors each, a nod to the auspicious nature of the numeral 8 in the Chinese-speaking world. Shanghai World Financial Center, Shanghai, China A super tall skyscraper located in the Pudong district of Shanghai, it is a mixed-use skyscraper consisting of offices, hotels, conference rooms, observation decks, and ground floor shopping malls. Park Hyatt Shanghai is the tower's hotel component comprising 174 rooms and suites occupying the 79th to the 93rd floors. On 14 September 2007, the skyscraper was topped out at 492 meters, the tall building in mainland China. The SWFC opened to the public on 28 August 2008, with its observation deck offers views from 474 meters above ground level. Trump International Hotel and Tower, Chicago, United States The Trump International Hotel and Tower is a skyscraper condo hotel in downtown Chicago, Illinois. Has 98-story structure which reaches a height of 1,388 feet including its spire, its roof topping out at 1,171 feet. It is next to the main branch of the Chicago River with a view of the entry to Lake Michigan beyond a series of bridges over the river. The Trump International Tower and Hotel also stands as the tallest building in the world to use reinforced concrete as its primary structural material. Four hundred thirty two Park Avenue, New York City. Four hundred thirty two Park Avenue is a residential skyscraper at fifty seventh Street and Park Avenue in Midtown, Manhattan in New York City, overlooking Central Park. The 1,396 feet tall tower features 125 luxury condominiums as well as amenities such as a private restaurants for residents. A part of Billionaire's Row, 432 Park Avenue has some of the most expensive residents in the city with a median unit selling of 10 millions of dollars. 432 Park Avenue were launched in 2013. The building topped out during October 2014 and was officially completed in 2015. If you like our pics, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. For more information about travel and world's wonder, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!